So my next interview this afternoon is with Michael Adams from the English team. How are you doing, Michael? Uh, very well, thank you. Okay, you've just told me you've won your game and the match with Serbia is going well? Um, yeah, no, uh, previous days weren't so great for, for me, but uh, today I had a bit of luck and I managed to win my game, so that's quite nice. And yeah, well, okay, you don't want to count your chickens, but I'm fairly optimistic about the match result. Okay, it's still very, very early in the tournament, but England has won the first three matches and looks like going to win the fourth one today. Yeah, no, it's a good start and a lot of my teammates look uh, in very good form, uh, going well already. David Howe has won a few games and uh, yeah, it's all going okay so far, but uh, much tougher tests to come in the, uh, in the remaining rounds, of course. So this is obviously definitely not your third, fourth or fifth, maybe your 10th Olympiad already? Yeah, I think it might even be rather more than that, yeah. I think first one maybe back in 1990, wow. something like that. So, yeah, my maths isn't too good. But so maybe bit, your, your 15th or 16th probably. Yeah, that's getting a bit uh, more of the region, yeah. Okay, so you've been in India before, playing in tournaments? Uh, only once, actually. I was here for the World Cup, but this was a long time ago. I think even in two, back in 2001. So really long time, just a completely different uh, situation. And that was in Delhi, so uh, it's my first visit here. Okay, so how is the... The climate, the people, the fans, how are they treating you here? What's the, what's your hotel like? How are you feeling as a team in England here in Chennai? Oh, uh, no, we're, we're pretty happy. I mean, uh, a couple of us, me and Luke both came straight from Dortmund, so from another event. Um, but no, our hotel is, is excellent. That's uh, really good. We've been very impressed by the volunteers in particular. So many of them, even when we arrived at like 3.30 in the airport, there were lots of them there to meet us. And just, well, the generosity of the Indian people, really just they're so kind and nice. And I know there are a lot of serious chess fans, so that's, uh, that's very good. And yeah, everyone in, in the hotel is looking after us great. We haven't really been outside the hotel too much because we like it there so much. But I've been swimming in the sea, so that's been, uh, been fun when it hasn't been too rough. So lots of different things, but yeah, having a good time in general. One last question. I noticed you won the gold medal with the English team in the Seniors Championship. I was wondering if you were going to, if you're thinking of defending the, going for the title in the individual championship this year? Um, or it was just a one-off oh, thing? Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I mean, it was the first event I was eligible to play in the seniors. And I wanted to sort of try and play a lot after the pandemic. Um, and then I got a lot of other events afterwards. But no, it, I mean, we, Nigel Povar, who organized the teams, is a very nice guy. He was one of the guys on the over 65 teams that also won. So he did a very good job at organizing. So it was nice and a lot of English players played. But uh, I don't know about the future. It will depend on, uh, will depend on other uh, events. But uh, here it's a bit different. All my opponents are in their 20s. So it's a good range of, uh, of playing. Uh, different age of opponents. Okay, thanks a lot and good luck for the future rounds. All right, no problem.